Hey everyone, I was just asked, can you show us how to make a moody, dark image for real estate? Or I guess in this sense, it's going to be more for your builders or architects or your interior designers. But how do you make it a dark, moody image like this in Photoshop? All right, stay tuned. All right, the first thing that you have to have are some shots done using the same techniques that you would use for light painting. If you don't know how to do that, well, take my course. The link is on the bottom here. It goes through all the things that you need to do to learn how to do light painting as well. It'll also show you how I do all my regular processing as well. And we just put a flambient course in there too. So check it out. It's a great course. I like it. Well, of course, I'm a little bit biased, but Anyways, here, let's go through this. First thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I have a dark image. So this is, image was taken based on the what the brightness was of the exteriors. And because of that, obviously, the interiors are going to be quite dark. From there, I've got my flash photos. And what I'm going to do is open all those as layers in Photoshop. Once in Photoshop, I'm going to take all the ones that were my flash shots. I'm going to put them right up at the top I'm going to change their profile straight to lighten. And you'll notice how bright it makes that entire place. So I don't want it that bright. I'm going to put a mask on each of these. And let's see now. And go invert, invert, mask, invert, mask, invert. Mask, invert. Oh, this is getting tedious, isn't it now? It's got to be an easier and quicker way of doing this. Maybe I can make an action of it with that. Well, maybe. Maybe if there was a some kind of course out there that taught how to make actions and make it easy to do stuff like that. Hmm. Maybe there is a course like that. Yes, you can take my course like that. Anyways, enough about that. All right. So uh, here we are. I've got my lowest image, which is the black image here. What does this one look like? Okay, this looks pretty good. This has a nice moody look. So how about if I were to just do this? I'm going to take my brush, make it white, and I'm just going to add in that portion there. All right. Let's go to the next one. What does this one offer? That one has some good stuff down here. So I'm just going to pull that. I'm going to use it as 50% opacity. And the way that I did that was I just used number five on my keyboard because that changed my opacity up here. If you don't know that sh shortcut trick, very simple. You know, one takes it to 10%, two takes it to 3%, three, four, five. Okay. Just changing the opacity up here. Nice, simple trick there. Okay, so what does this one look like? Okay, no, I don't want to use that one. Yeah, I'll use that one. Okay, B. Because we do need a little bit of light in here. Oh, no, I don't want myself in here. All right, there we go. Take myself out of there completely. Let's feather that out a bit better. Okay. All right, how about this one? What does this one look like? Okay, let's make that a 20% opacity. There we are. Because I do want a little bit of light in that kitchen. Okay, and that one's going to be good just to add a little bit of light over here. And add a little bit of mood. And we'll do the same thing here. Just a lit. Let's do 10% just to make it so that it's still dark, but you get to see what's there. Okay, what else we got here? I want to be able to pull a little bit of the kitchen that side, so... What does that one look like? That one looks good. Give it 50% opacity, and let's highlight just a little bit about the length there. And there. Okay. All right. 
What do you think? Nice, dark, moody looking place and all done just using a little bit of light painting and a little bit of Photoshop. If you have any questions, by all means, let me know. And for anyone that's interested in how to do all of this and more, come join my course, okay? Links down there. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, put them below and be sure to click on like, subscribe, and click on that little bell to be notified every time we put up new content. And I am happy to announce that our online real estate photography course is now done and it is ready for you. Just go to www.robmoroto.com and use a coupon code that is in the show notes here to get yourself a nice little discount. All right, see you later.